to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. Growing food is a really remarkable experience. And you don't even have to grow food outdoors. You can actually grow food indoors. And this video is about tips on how to grow food indoors. I'm in growing zone 5B. And therefore, I grow food indoors and I grow food outdoors. I overwinter plants indoors, I overwinter food uh, crops indoors, and then take them outdoors or I keep them indoors. So I want to talk to you about two different ways I'm growing food indoors. I grow food indoors inside of my bay window and I'm also growing food indoors under a grow light. So I have two different platforms on how I'm growing food. And this particular um, uh, uh, bay window, you can see I'm growing three pineapple plants. And I've been growing these pineapple plants going on two years come June of this year. And because I'm in um, zone 5B, I overwinter my pineapple plants. And then of course I'll put them outdoors in June of this year once it warms up. I'm growing a sweet potato plant and I want to show you the sweet potato plant I grew last year so you'll see that above this uh, video and anyone who wants to grow sweet potato plants if you have a balcony or um, or a, a uh, porch you can actually put this in the uh, pot and grow sweet potatoes. I'm also growing celery as you can see once you get a strong root system, like in this particular case, you can put it in a pot to grow celery or you can put it outdoors. Therefore, um, there are just so many different ways to grow celery. If you want to keep your um, growing celery indoors, make sure it's getting good uh, light exposure. Make sure you got a good strong root system and put it in a very uh, uh, strong long pot and it loves a lot of moisture. So here's another uh, tip on growing celery. I'm also growing oregano that I just uh, put seeds in and you can see sowed seeds. You can see the little um, growth coming up. I'm growing a turmeric and this particular turmeric can continue growing indoors, whether it's inside, if you've got good ex light exposure or you can grow it under a grow light. I will be putting this outdoors when it warms up, but I grew this throughout the entire winter. And if you don't have a yard and you don't have a balcony, you wanna continue growing it indoors, just give it good exposure. I'm also growing ginger in a pot. And I'm growing sage that I don't take outdoors. I leave this indoors because it's right near my kitchen and growing herbs indoors is really, really easy. Just give it a good light and just keep clipping it and using it and it continues to grow back. Same here with my oregano. Same, same thing here. I'm continue to grow more ginger. I just started growing ginger of two, February of this year. Again, growing ginger February of this year. So for me, growing food, I use all platforms. I'm growing food in my backyard. I'm growing food indoors in my bay window I'm growing food under my grow light again some food I will put outside and if you have a balcony again just set them outside and continue growing it bring it in and um, grow it during the winter if it's ready to harvest you can continue harvesting 
um, your, your food. Uh, turmeric is a tropical plant, but that doesn't mean you can't grow it indoors. Ginger is a tropical plant, that doesn't mean, that, that doesn't mean you can't grow it indoors. Again, have your herbs close to your kitchen or, or near your kitchen window so that you can have this at your fingertip. Again, when you're growing food, it's a rewarding experience. You do not have to have a yard to grow food. If you have a nice bay window that gets really good sunlight, you can grow food. If you have a grow light, you can grow food. So these are tips on how to grow food indoors. So let me take you to my grow light and show you all the food that I'm growing in my, under my grow light. So I grow food indoors in my bay window. I grow food indoors under my grow light and I grow food in my backyard. I think now more so in order to get really healthy food no, so you know exactly what you're eating. And this is a time where we're trying to be frugal. I'm really excited to share my tips on how to grow food indoors. Another tip I like to provide is providing your plants with the right amount of humidity. As I noted that I am growing tropical plants indoors and I live in a semi-arid environment and central heat in my home does create a semi-arid environment. So what I have done is I put my tropical plants in humidity trays, as you can see here. And I'm also using a humidifier. This one is by Objecto and it's really attractive. It adds to the decor of my bay windows, growing my tropical plants and growing food in my bay windows. So at this point, I've got the humidifier going up. That's on a very low setting. However, I've created a right type of environment to grow food in a semi-arid environment by using a humidifier by Objecto and also using humidifier trays. In addition to growing food and herbs in a windowsill, I'm also growing food and herbs under a T5 grow light. Check out the card above on my video of unboxing and installing a T5 grow light. Right here, I'm growing a stevia. I have severely harvested this particular stevia plant, so I've had to cut back on the um, harvesting so I can get the plant to leaf, up, leaf out more. Right here, I'm growing a turmeric plant, and as you can see, I have another blade coming up right here, and this has been growing all winter. You want to make sure that the turmeric you buy is organic because the, um, the conventional turmeric has, they, they uh, spray an inhibitor on the roots and it will be very difficult to propagate. Right here I'm growing a ginger root and as you can see I have a new stem coming up and again same principle, make sure you use an organic ginger and this has been growing indoors all winter. I have an avo avo avocado plant, which I don't believe I'm gonna get any avocados, but it's just a fun plant to grow. I'm growing Moringa plant here. Moringa is a very uh, dense nutrient plant, also referred to as the miracle tree. It typically grows in uh, Mediterranean and subtropical environments, typically India and Africa. But I'm growing it here because moringa powders are very the moringa powder is very expensive. I like to use it in my juicing, and they run about fourteen and fifteen dollars at the health food stores. So this one is coming up real well. I also just planted four seeds in here, and you can see there's one coming up here. I'm growing rosemary, and I this is really a nice. If you want something very decorative and you want to put it in your windowsill, these terracotta pots are really nice. And as you can see, I've got some new ones coming up here. I'm also regrowing celery and green onions. And yes, you can actually regrow celery and green onions. As you can see, this one is actually coming up right now. You can see this one's coming up. So these are green onions and these are celery. Just take the, 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 um, the base of the celery stalk and just stick it in soil. That's simple. And this is um, the, the, the root part of the, um, 
green onions, just put it in soil, keep it moist, and you can see they're growing up. Um, excuse me, the, they're, they're starting to emerge. I'm regrowing celery and water. And as soon as this gets a really nice root system, I'm gonna plant it outside. Same way with this one. This is this this was a pretty large one from the cell oops from the celery. And it just in one week, it's um, actually starting to emerge. I probably would have to put this in a bigger uh, j uh, jar once the root system starts coming up. Here's another avocado plant that I'm starting. Here's another one that I'm starting. I'm starting a stevia from seed. Here's my lemon tree that I actually started from seed. I want to show you my other lemon tree that I've started from seed. This lemon tree is not even a year old. On my previous videos, you can see I have repotted this once and it's really taken off. I'm excited to see what it's going to do when I put it outside. I probably won't bear lemons for another two or three years, but the fact that I'm going to be attempting to grow a citrus fruit tree in Colorado is my goal. Hopefully I will be able to get a greenhouse and I will already have a, a good start on this lemon tree. Another plant I'm growing, and this is not even a year old, is another turmeric plant. This turmeric plant has been repotted twice, it's flowered twice, and it I should be harvesting this in May or June of 2020, so in a couple of months. So as you can see, I've grown quite a bit of herbs and um, fruits, trees indoors under a grow light. And for those that do not have a yard or wondering how can I grow herbs and plants, even trees, indoors it can be done. I had to overwinter a lot of my uh, tropical plants because I love tropical plants and I often when I let them go dormant in my garage, sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. However, just wanted to share with you that you can grow herbs, plants, fruits indoors if you have a good grow light system. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this these tips.